Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 121. Today we have a really big hockey mixer here uh, with some series one and series two retail. So we'll go a little bit of young gun hunting. Hopefully we can find like a Makar and a laugh would be ideal. And then lots of 2020, uh, 2021 hobby, including the, we haven't done SP game used on here yet. And trilogy just released last week and then uh, artifacts as well. And then last year's chronology, which is just a good overall veteran product. It's a lot of fun to open up. So um, you can get some really sick stuff out of it. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and let's get right into the team randoms here. Uh, let me make sure I have random.org ready to go. Uh, that would help. All right. Uh, there we go. So again, as always, three times on the names, three times on the teams. And who you line up with is who you get. All right. Ooh, wrong one. There we go. All right, here we go. Uh, once, twice, and third time. All right, so there's people there. Robert's on top, David's on the bottom. And teams three times. Once twice and third time there we go avalanche on top rangers in second spot blues on the bottom rangers are definitely like the one team that you probably want between the years so uh good luck everyone uh robert you've got the colorado avalanche uh the pack crackers you've got the rangers edward you got chicago uh andy you've got the bruins Ivy with the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, Sean, you've got the Arizona Coyotes. David Harrison with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ethan with the Devils. Tony, you've got the Washington Capitals. Brent with the San Jose Sharks. Uh, David, you've got the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, Braden, you've got the Philadelphia Flyers. Patrick Harris with the D Detroit Red Wings. Uh, Brandon Lau Law with the uh, Florida Panthers. Frank, you've got the Ottawa Senators. Joseph with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, Ting Drew with the Calgary Flames. Again, let me know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, and same for anyone. If I'm ever mispronouncing your name, please let me know so I can get it right. Uh, Jonathan with the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Richard with the Dallas Stars. Philip with the Winnipeg Jets. Paul with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Daniel with the Buffalo Sabres. Victoria with the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, Carter, you've got the Toronto Maple Leafs. Edward with the Montreal Canadiens. Mike with the LA Kings. Mark, you've got the Minnesota Wild. Victoria with the New York Islanders, uh, Brendan Lai with the or Lee with the Vegas Golden Knights. Mark, you got the Nashville Predators, and David with the St. Louis Blues. All right, so there are your teams. I'll get them copied over. Dallas, yeah, Dallas is a fun team, and especially because like you got a nice mix of patches and rookies between the years. So they're honestly, I would say one of the top teams like overall quantity and quality wise. So. Um, just in this mix, because Jason Robertson's one of the top rookies. Um, and that means that, you know, uh, when you have one of the top rookies, you got the good chance for the uh, nice hits. And they have also quantity with uh, Ottinger's, again, like solid goalie prospect. Uh, Harley's a solid defenseman prospect. So you've got a lot of cart, like quantity and quality there, which again, I always like when I'm looking for teams. Um, like teams that I'd want to have is a good mix of quantity and quality. And then you've got obviously the heavy hitting teams like the Minnesotas out there, but um, yeah. Get the team viewer ready again. All right, should be good. And no one's name's cut off, beautiful. But yeah, uh, good little mix here. Um, again, with chronology, SP game use, even artifacts, even it, any team can hit. Um, that is why I really, really like uh, this mix because, um, you know, you can have some lower end teams, but artifacts in general, like there's a, it's a fairly balanced checklist. Chronology, it's just, you know, you, you want your original six teams and your rookie teams, but um, outside of that, it's just, it's the same thing, wild card, so. And with some nice little young guns, hopefully, you know, hopefully we can pull one of the big young guns here, so. All right. 
So I'll give a couple more minutes for trades, but if nothing is popping up, then we will get started on the break here. <laughs> no one's interested. I mean, Buffalo, Buffalo is not a bad team, though. You've got Cousins at the very least. Um, they're not horrible in chronology, if I remember correctly. Uh, and I think Cousins was one of the ones that Upper Deck snuck in the trilogy. Um, Vancouver's a weird one because, like, Hoaglander isn't in trilogy, but he's in SP Game Houston. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Buffalo's definitely... I mean, and you've got Eichel. Like, Upper Deck did a lot of Eichel stuff because they missed out on a year with him because of um, his Leaf exclusive deal, so... Uh, Mark, I think really Buffalo is the only team that's up for trade right now. Here, we'll slide the 100 points away. So... Yeah, LA is not horrible in this mix. Um, I mean, Ottawa's fairly risk reward at this point. Um, <laughs> Buffalo for Nashville. I mean, Nashville's a sleeper team, man. They're they've got a couple rookies. I uh, I guess maybe not in this. In series two, they're a bit of a sleeper, but. <laughs> It's uh, it's really funny. I think the uh, the last week hockey break, Nashville did really like overall really well. So, um, all right, I don't see any traction on the trades. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, just based off of uh, biggest overall potential, we're gonna open up series two retail last. I think we'll probably go like um, series one retail, series two retail. Then we'll do uh, artifacts, chronology, trilogy, SP game use in that order. So, all right. Uh, let me get this open. Here we go. Yeah, let's see some cool stuff. I mean, a big young gun would always be nice, um, as per usual, you know, it's kind of what you're hoping for. Uh, big young gun, big, uh, like draft day marks would be very nice out of a uh, spigu. Uh, and just as a note, um, I will need the checklist for artifacts up actually now that I think about it, but all the rookie redemptions for artifacts will go to the team on the checklist because the checklist is live. Chronology has XRCs and uh, that checklist, it hasn't been made public yet, which is, I wonder who it's gonna be. Like you probably know who one and two are gonna be. It's I think and even three, um, but yeah, uh, we'll see kind of for those ones because the checklist isn't public and we don't know uh, who is on what card. Uh, we are going to have to just 31 team random those if we get them. So uh, we'll do the rip and stack for retail just because it's the uh, best way to kind of go through it. So yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good day. Uh, three playoff games today. So how many game sevens do you think we're going to see? I, uh, I, I want to say four. Uh, Whatchamacallit, they're gonna make it a game. I think the Panthers might be able to make it a game seven. Um, they've been playing really well. Like, I think the difference between those two teams, really, between Tampa and Florida in the games, has just been goaltending. Um, and if Spencer Knight can play like he has been, then uh, I, I like Florida's chances, but obviously a 3 1 lead's really hard to come back from. That'd be a series I'd like to see go seven games. Um, I mean, Pittsburgh and Islanders are always interesting. Um, I, I know that score was 2-2 when I last checked. I don't know what it is right now, but... Um, yeah. All right, two more packs to go here. Yeah, there we go. Last one. All right, there we go. And we will flip it over, take half the stack. We'll go right below that young gun. Here we go. Again, series one, you do get base packs in series one retail compared to series two. So um, you get more at least. So uh, Sveshnikov for the Hurricanes. 
on the canvas. Uh, Vanacek for the Capitals, not horrible. Not a horrible young gun. Uh, yeah, I think it's about six base packs normally in a series one. So as we kind of go through it, um, you can tell when we kind of run into the typical base pack lines. There are no French variations or anything like that. So Norris for the senders on the rookie portraits. Uh, Di Pietro for the Canucks on the young gun. So got the two probably better goalies. And young gun canvas of Berdine for the Jets. So uh, bonus young gun at least to start us off. Uh, just base. We had another little base run there. Uh, Robertson for the Leafs. That's a solid one. It's a solid box here, honestly. Uh, Robertson, DiPietro, Vanacek are all, you know, kind of in that good tier. With, like, they're in the good and have hope tier type of thing. So, at least the above average. Uh, McCarr for the Avalanche on the portraits. First half, not horrible. Here's the series one. On to the second half, yeah. So like three solid young guns. The young gun canvas isn't great, but hey, it's a bonus young gun, so can't really complain too much, right? Yeah. This is our jersey card. Yep, yeah, that's our jersey card. Uh, Esh, it is a little bit too late for trades at this point. Uh, just because we've already started opening, and I don't know what point everyone is at. So if there is a bit of a delay and, like, a card comes out, it gets a little bit uh, dicey, for lack of a better phrase. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the playoff games. Uh, I'm looking forward to round two. Winnipeg sweeping the Oilers was very... I mean, I'd say not expected, but at the same time, it just was hot goaltending. And, you know, the Oilers' depth really showing that, at least up front, is really bad. Um, you've got, like, kind of, you know, you've got three, four pretty solid players. And then um, the rest of the lineup's just not quite, there's just, the depth just isn't there to overcome when the top's not scoring. So, uh, be interesting to see if anything major happens there in the offseason. I mean, there's lots of rumors about McDavid being very frustrated, so. And, like, rightfully so. I'd be frustrated. I mean, when your GM kind of says, like, oh, no, like, this year we're not going to commit to uh, going all in, you know, that's a little bit little bit frustrating when you're having one of the best years of any player in, like, kind of a long time. So, uh, Korshkov for the Leafs on the Young Guns. Uh, Bishop for the Stars with the missing tooth on the canvas. And Aaron Ekblad on the UD game jersey for the Panthers. Yeah, Ekblad would have been a big difference maker, I think, in that series. So uh, the other Igor, Zamula for the Flyers on the Young Guns. Matthews for the Leafs on the Portraits. Uh, Alexia for the Capitals on the Young Gun. So that half, not that great, but yeah, could be worse. Uh, Clan, I will do that right after I finish this up. Garland for the Oats on the canvas. He had a heck of a year. Uh, probably lots of base. Do we, we have a bonus Young Gun, I think, coming. Yep. Well, that's a good bonus one to get. Bowen Byron for the Avs. So really good retail box here. That's seven base and one regular young gun. Uh, that's really good. So nice one there, right? Cause we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven total young guns from a box of retail when you're only supposed to get six. I mean, you take that every day of the week, right? And Kachuk for the flames on the portraits to finish things off. So. Uh, really good box. I thought we had an extra one when I was doing all the packs, but uh, okay, team viewer. There we go. That's a good good start. Honestly, like 
that half now with the Byram was like went from you know kind of eh to really good because bonus young gun and it's a good one <laughs> that was a really good box of retail so uh on to series two now let's see we haven't pulled Makar in a little bit it would be nice to get him because his prices are going up as the abs are very hot I think if Byron was playing, his prices would be skyrocketing too because he's also very good. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I I can see why they have to play with them. Um, oh, you're getting Winnipeg is just insult to injury, eh? Um, I can see why you'd play them together, when, especially when you need offense. But, like, how much they shorten their bench, especially with triple over time, I think was almost a detriment to them. Um because like you can't just like your players are just going to be more tired and as much as you can be like oh they're rolling three forward lines so we're only going to roll two defense pairings like that's a lot of time so up quickly okay that's good yeah get over the corner there we go yeah hopefully again let me know if you still like the rip and stacker retail um i just feel like it makes the most sense because it helps you get through the most cards in the quickest manner and there's also just a more consistent flow to the break so yeah, I mean, like, even some of Nurse's shifts, like, four minutes in triple overtime or, like, double overtime or whatever it was, it's just, like, you're not going to be playing at a high enough level of hockey at that point to keep up with your, uh, with your opposition. So let me just uh, go ahead and move these down into the order we'll break them. All right, here we go. Go from there. Uh, Mikaya for the Leafs on the marquee rookie. Bobrovsky for the Panthers. Uh, Veronu for the Senators on the Young Guns. I I think the Leafs do. Like, if the Leafs don't at this point, Murray for the Penguins on the canvas, I'd be... That would be worse than it was 4-1. So, uh, that's saying a lot. Uh, Gusev for the Devils on the rookie update. I'm just going to look through that again because that was a lot of base cards. We probably just hit a base pack. But Wallstrom for the Islanders. Solid young gun to get now. He's doing decent. I mean, he got injured, which isn't great. But just making sure I'm not missing anything in here. Nope. Doesn't look like it. But yeah, I think the Leafs break it this year just because, I mean, if there's ever a year that they're going to break it, this year was the year. Subban for the Devils. Kubalik for Chicago. But yeah, I think they'll break that this year. They're a good team, so Shabbat for the Senators. As much as the North Division is weaker, it's not like that much weaker. Asplin for the Sabres on the Young Guns, where it makes like that big of a difference. Uh, Verhage for the Lightning on the Rookie Portraits. So... I, I think they break it, though. And, like, honestly, against Winnipeg, again, it comes down to Hellebuck, essentially, at this point. Because if Hellebuck can goalie the Leafs, and they've been a team that's been known to be goalied, um, yeah. Like, it's, at the end of the day, it comes down to gold hending there. Because the Leafs lineup is just, like, the Leafs lineup defensively and, like, uh, offensively is just better than the Jets. Like, their forwards are better in every single line. Their defense is pretty much better in every single pairing. It's really just going to come down to goaltending. Like, on paper, that is, uh, the Leafs should win that. But, again, that's on paper. So, there's a reason why you play the games out, and even then in hockey, like, if the Leafs are, say, like, a 60% favorite, which is a big favorite... 
that still means, you know, four, four out of ten series is Winnipeg wins it, so. I'd say Price has been, like, solid. He's definitely made a lot of big saves, but I, you know, you can't help but think that the extra cap hit that he has and is, um, you know, if you split that between a starter and, you know, like more just depth up front or on the back end type of thing, like, you know, it could be a little bit stronger. So, all right, here we go. Uh, Kublik on the blue for Chicago. Clifton for the Bruins. Ooh, nice for the Rangers. Kako, that's someone who I think you're going to want to keep an eye on over the next couple of years. He is very good and like kind of sneaky good still. Uh, it'll take, it might take a little bit, but he'll get there. Don't sleep on him yet is pretty much all I'm saying. Uh, Ekblad for the Panthers. Uh, that is all base. Uh, Hag for Vegas on the portraits. Peak for the Blue Jackets on the Young Guns. Faraby for the Flyers on the Retro Rookie. Flurry for the Habs. Darlene for the Sabres on the canvas. Marino for the Penguins. He kind of quieted down after last year. Really good rookie campaign, though. And Balsas for the Senators. All right. So, again, solid box. A couple of good young guns. Um, series 1 beat out Series 2, though, I would say. Which is... Going into the break, I would have put, like, again, 70-30. 70-30. Uh, 70% of the time, I'd say... Series 2 would beat it, but hey, you never know. All right, artifacts time. I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the uh, the rookie redemption checklist here. Um, just because I know we're probably going to hit one wild card, so if we do, it'll go again. It'll go to the team that's listed. Um, just because it's the, it's the fairest way to do it at this point. So here we go. So artifacts, trilogy, chronology, SP game use, kind of from the like lowest hit potential to highest, I think. I'd even say like artifacts after trilogy, but they're both very similar. So uh, this is box 75 with 35 on the back. But yeah, price has been solid. Uh, right side's normally the hit side, so. Uh, this looks like it's a hit though. So we have a double hit box. Oh, we do have a double hit box. So uh, we might have a, that's a patch by the way. So that'll get saved till the end. Uh, it could just be an Orm, I guess. There's no base on the back here, but uh, Orm of Shifley for the Jets. Then on the Jersey cards and Flurry for Vegas to $3.99 on the Ruby. Uh, we'll put that there, there we go. We'll save the patches for the end of the box here. Any thick card. I guess it could just be a pack out to the side, but you never know. Artifacts had a little bit of a weird sorting this year. Uh, Reinhardt for the Sabres to 99 on the Emerald. And again, as with always with artifacts, uh, the corners and stuff aren't going to be in the best of shape. Um, I'll try to call out any like really bad ones, but Orms in particular are like notorious for being chipped up just because of the print and stuff. Marner to 399 for the least, but like there's lots of little corner dings, especially on the back. Anytime you have card stock that isn't just like white, all the little chips show up just a little bit easier. So all right. First rookie. Uh Little Grim for the Leafs. Put that one there. Uh, I don't know how well that one's centered. There's also Again, centering issues with the rookies. Uh, this one's actually pretty solid. It's mainly like the later rookies that they had the issues with. So like the ones they had to kind of sneak in like laugh and stuff like that. But, uh, another Aura. 
All right, so double Orem box, uh, Palmieri for the devil. So definitely an extra hit in here. Looks like this should be a uh, rookie redemption. Ooh, it's an emerald. Is it gonna be? Vegas, that's Coughlin, I wanna say. Yep, Dylan Coughlin to 99 for Vegas. So not horrible, not horrible. And looks like just a base jersey coming up here. Uh, Tara Vinen for the Hurricanes to 175. All right, patch time. Well, box one is patch one. Ooh, maybe it'll be like one of those like really cool acetate cards. Well, it's a patch. It's an emerald, so it's gonna be jersey patch. Will we have an auto with it? Nope, just a jersey patch, but it's Braden Shen for the St. Louis Blues, 265. Nice little three color patch on the right side. Not the uh, biggest card, but still a solid pull. Uh, let me go ahead and... The chatbots have been really bad on uh, Twitch lately. Again, Enamel Boy Dylan Coughlin. All right, first look at Trilogy on breaks here. So uh, again, you're mainly looking for your rookie premiers. Um, your... Signature pucks are the other big ones, but those are kind of what you're looking for. So, here we go. Let's see some cool stuff here. Oh yeah, I forgot they have styrofoam in the bottom of these. There you go. And what box number is it? 17 and 80. All right, this is my first look in person at it too. So, here we go. Let's see some. Let's see some cool stuff. All right, starting off, we have a uh, rookie super stage of Anthony Angelo for the Pittsburgh Penguins and a rookie here. Let's put that. Yeah, it can go up there. Uh, rookie super stage. These are nice foiled out. Uh, Gage Quinney to $9.99. These are super nice, all foiled out and stuff. Camera's going to have a tough time focusing on them, but look really sharp in person. So like those. Uh, yeah, that can go there. Yeah, yeah, there's fine. I like the base card design too. Almost a little bit too white at the bottom, but it's fine. It's trilogy. It's kind of what you expect with the base. All right, another one of these uh, rookie super stages. Uh, rookie renditions of Bodan for Chicago. They definitely, I think it proved there's still some chipping issue, but not as bad as last year. And Vanacek for the, uh, here, let's put the, uh, 9.99 one there. Uh, Van check for the Capitals, number 38 of 4.99. I think this is a, I guess the blue parallel. So, and some chipping issues on the back, but like, same thing as artifacts. Anytime you have a, a non like, non white cardstock, you're going to have some chipping issues. So, well, that's a good rookie super stage. Laugh for the Rangers. Laugh for the Rangers on the rookie super stage. And that's a good rookie premiers level two of Dylan Cousins for the Sabres. Numbered 21 of 499. So that's a good little pack there. Nice little laugh tier two cousins. Give the uh, tier two cousins some spotlight. Like I really like those design. The design of those is really nice. And we'll uh, we'll sleeve up the laugh because it's laugh. The decoys are a different like material. I don't know how to describe. They're like more kind of papery. All right. Next pack. So we should have a uh, what should we call it? Uh, an auto and a mem left. Ooh, we got a patch. So we'll save that to the end. Unless it's just the plain jersey cards because they've. Been ha they have had years where the jersey cards are just super thick cards too, so. And I've seen a couple boxes of Trilogy, but nothing like, haven't watched a ton of it, so I'm new to it as well. And I, I like going through it like this, so. Uh, Cout for the Avalanche, yeah, there's some definite issues on the renditions, but 
cut on the rookie renditions for the Avalanche. And hey, uh, rookie auto for the Leafs of a little chagrin, to three ninety nine. In above average player, I would say. Give him a year, and he'll probably be uh, making a bigger, bigger impact in the league. It's kind of been following us around lately too. So uh, this would be a bonus if we have a hidden here. So I think he'll just end up being a rookie. But who knows? One way to find out. Uh, super stage of Jonas Johansson for the Sabers, and. Uh, Morgan Geeky for the Carolina Hurricanes on the uh, Rookie Premieres level 1 to 9.99. And nice design, nothing like horrible about it, just solid. All right, that's a uh, rookie rendition of Belzeal for the Habs. This one's got lots of chipping issues. Belzeal for the Habs. And, oh, that's a disgusting patch. For the Dallas Stars. Uh, Thomas Harley on the Rookie Premier's level 2 patch to 49. I mean, the patch is upside down. Well, I guess maybe... Maybe not. No, yeah, no, it's definitely upside down. Because it'd be... Uh, yeah, it's upside down. But uh, still a really nice patch. <laughs> and, like, solid defenseman, too. Like his game a lot. So, disgusting patch for the Sabres there. Or Sabres stars. Uh, and good, good card for the Sabres in the box. That was a really solid box as well. Uh, our rookie premieres were good. Um, our rookie uh, rookie auto was, I'd say, above average. And really nice rookie patch. All right, Byron, just go in your stand. There we go. So, disgusting, disgusting patch there on the Harley. I like that. Super, super nice stuff. So, uh, again, some the usual comments about... Uh, you know, cards that have darker colors towards the edges is that you'll have some chipping issues, especially on thicker cards. But um, yeah, nothing like nothing horrible. So the rookie premieres look super sharp in person. I know on camera they they look okay, but in person they look a lot better. Chronology time, and then SP game used. Uh, I want to see one of the letter marks. Nice to get one of those. There we go. All right, here we go. Or like a big vet auto. Where's for the Leafs? We got a time capsule here for the Leafs. I guess we'll go to the back for that. Uh, John Tavares time capsule for the Leafs. Uh, so who has them? Uh, uh, Carter. So uh, when you get this, Carter, uh, I know you're not. Pro you might not be in here. Uh, you can decide to either rip and tear. There's like a mini card in there. Um, so it can be like a mini rookie, just a mini vet. It's like a mini canvas card. You can get autographs, original painting redemptions and stuff. Kind of rip it through the back there. So cool, like really cool card concept. Um, and you can get some cool stuff if you want to open it up. If you don't have to, if you don't want to. So kind of all personal preference. Uh, Marner for the Leafs to 222. Oh, that one's really nice. I like that one. I'll put that one there. Yeah. Uh, chronology timeless memories auto for the san jose sharks joe thornton nice gold ink there 400th goal that's a super nice card and anton stasny for the quebec nordiques aka the colorado avalanche so really nice one no numbering on the thornton but super nice card for san jose there love some jumbo joe auto awesome yeah uh, a lot of people tend to, there's a good mix between like who buy them and sell them, uh, or open them. Uh, cause like they obviously like people always just like what's in the box. You don't know what's in the box until you open it up type of thing. So nice jumbo Joe there. Nice Stassi. So, um, always super fun though. You know, it's kind of the choice that you get to make. Here we go. Yeah, the Jumbo Joe is not, there we go. Not sliding in the top loader super nicely. There we go. All right, SP Game Use time. Uh, let's see. I mean, Laugh True Rookie would be the pull here, right? Till 11, that'd be just 
crazy. And my first look at SP Game used in person. Uh, one of my like kind of, I love it for group breaks just because it's a very, very like, I'd say solid product for mixes just because you get a lot of, you know, different teams, different cards, stuff like that. So uh, let's go two off the back. Let's go two off the back. I feel like that's normally correct. But here we go. Uh, banner year for the Flyers of Travis Konechny. So you get a jersey and banner from the All-Star game. Uh, All-Star skills fabrics. Uh, David Riddich for the Calgary Flames. Uh, Ekman Larson to 265 on the base. Ooh, nice. Uh, jersey number true base of David Pasternak for the Bruins to 88. Uh, Pierre Olivier Joseph for the Penguins on the rookie autograph. I'll put that one there. Actually, these are all thicker. So, and Connor McMichael on the authentic rookie jersey for the Capitals. So, a uh, nice little Pasternak base there. The true base is definitely tougher to hit, and you get 55 point top loaders for that. So, and you want to see the rookies, but not horrible. Yeah, I like SP Game using in these mixers just because, um, you know, you get, like on average, you get four mem or autograph cards per box. So uh, that's pretty solid. And sometimes your base rookies, like those can be really valuable as well long term. So, all right, another patch and artifacts. Artifacts showing up big time today. We got a teal rookie coming up. And it's Mikey Anderson for the Kings to 45. That goes to a Mike. Nice little Mikey Anderson to 45 on the teal rookie. Uh, this is the hit side, so we'll stay on the non-hit side. Again, if one of these boxes doesn't have a hit in it, it's because the first box did. Sometimes it just works out like that. Ooh, a red rookie. All right, we're getting into the rookie parallels here. Uh, course call for the Leafs to three ninety nine. Uh, another rookie. So rookie hot box here. Uh, Byram to nine ninety nine for the Avs. So this one's definitely got the uh, miscut. Uh, it is kind of here is a regular base card. Uh, this is lined up on the edges, kind of. You can tell it's miscut. So just when you get it, just a heads up. Uh, it's a known issue with them. But yeah, still a nice rookie. Like Byram, one of the best ones that you can get. I don't know why I put the Joe Thor in like this, because, you know, it's definitely a horizontal card. And a another patch. All right, well, we got two patches. This is... This is a weird box. Uh, that one's not gonna be a major auto patch. So, uh, extra hit again? That's really weird. And getting like two patches in a box is extremely weird. So, cause their patches are pretty tough to hit. Weber for the Habs on the Orem. Should have a rookie redemption left and I mean, technically that should be it. Another Emerald Rookie Redemption here. Uh, for the Anaheim Ducks, it's Hackenpah. For the Ducks, that'll be to 99. Too bad it wasn't Zegras, but hey. It's always next year, right? Be interesting to see what they do for Extended. And Atkinson for the Blue Jackets to 175. All right, so first patch here, it looks like one of the remnants. So these are, I think, 25? Yep, for the Islanders, Brock Nelson on the remnants patch to 25. Uh, tough to pull, not the biggest name, but hey. Islanders doing well right now, so right time to pull. Oh, and I missed, sorry, I missed the Zabandrad Copper to 299 for the Rangers. Make sure I didn't miss anything else there. There we go. And other patch. I mean, artifact showed up today. Ooh, it's a rookie. Maybe there'll be some ink on it. Let's hope for some ink. 
Nope. Oh, those are good for lease to 99 on the rookie patch, Jersey patch auto. So uh, three patches and two boxes of artifacts is about as good as you can get. <laughs> Obviously the names aren't the biggest, but it's still solid. All right, trilogy time. That first box of trilogy, I think will end up being our best box, but you never know. I think we'll get, I think SB Game Use hopefully will save the best hit for the last box. And then aside, I like Trilogy and their use of uh, last year's Calder favorites, or Calder, sorry, Calder Trophy finalists. Because it is definitely a rookie, uh, rookie heavy product, so. Uh, box 81 and 52 for those at home. Uh, the hits were in the top two on the right side last time, so let's see if that stays true. We have uh, Robertson for the Leafs on the rookie renditions. And Kiv Lennox, 299 on the rookie super stage ruby red. Um, don't know exactly what it's called. But I think it's I think it's probably just red. It might be ruby, but red works. Uh, geeky for the hurricanes. And Ty Smith. Uh, rookie premieres level two to four ninety nine. So another good one there, good one there for the Devils. Put two really good uh level two rookies. I like the cousin. The cousin's picture definitely makes it seem like a more premium card, but still a nice one. Like just the extra little level of zoom in is nice. The solid, solid stuff from Trilogy so far, and. Uh, Mikey Anderson for the Kings on the rookie super stage. It's got a lot of chipping on the bottom there. And Connor McMichael, level three for the Capitals. That's another solid one. Uh, it's got a little bit of a ding in the top left corner there. But solid one to 299. Yeah, that, that ding in the top left corner isn't ideal, but again, solid. Uh, it's a level three. We'll, we'll give him his own little stand here. Actually, Kako's had enough time in the spotlight. And we'll move Byram over. But yeah, level threes are generally the toughest to get. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the red card was, uh, the Kivlenix to, for Columbus to 999. I think is what you're asking about. Yeah, I think that's what you're asking about. Uh, this one. Perfect. Yeah, is Kivlenix for Columbus to 9.99. So I will be curious to see if this is a hit. I think this is a hit. So this one's probably, this one's probably not a hit. Oh, this pack got a shrink wrapped really weird. Ah, uh, well, we might have a hit here. We got something fancy coming. We got like a red kind of like weird parallel. All right. Uh, we have a Jake Evans rookie renditions. Is there, okay, there's like extras, holy cow. Uh, we got bonus cards out the wazoo here. Uh, Jake Evans for the Habs on the rookie renditions. I'll throw that one up one. Uh, Pierre Oliver Joseph for the Penguins on the rookie renditions. And then the rookie renditions are at to 799 of Joseph for the Penguins. So you get the red and the base. The foiled ones seem a little bit better. Uh, rookie, this looks like a rookie jersey here, just given last time. Ottinger for the Stars, and Ottinger for the Stars on the rookie jersey. Number two, 499. Should be an autograph. But again, solid box. Tier three rookie was good. Um, yeah, no complaints here. Uh, Van check. Okay, this card's pretty. Uh, got a pretty bad ding crease in the bottom right corner. Um, Van check for the Capitals, and well, I'd say that's a pretty good card right there. Numbered forty-seven of two forty-nine, level one rookie premieres autograph of Tim Stutzla for the Senators. Ah, it might be the hit of the break. Who had him? Uh, Frank. It's your, it might be your first break with us, Frank. 
So congrats. Congrats on that one. Obviously one of the biggest rookies and one of the ones that you're hoping to get. Uh, let's go ahead and make room for him in the middle because that is definitely the best pull of the break so far. Give him all the spotlight time in the middle. All right. Trilogy, uh, bring in the heat here. Holy cow. Also, SPX came out today and seen some really nice stuff from that. SPX is always one of the, like, I fear, I always feel like it's the most underrated product every year. Uh, just because upper deck black cards in it are so nice. Um, and just the general, like, design difference. I don't know. I always really like it. So, it's one of my favorite sets every single year. And, yeah. All right. Chronology time. Uh, I mean, the Thornton was a nice pull. The Sassing was a decent follow-up auto. Let's see if we can beat that. I'm going to take a quick sip of water. But yeah, Trilogy's really brought it today. Um, I mean, Artifacts has brought it with three patches. All right, we do have a patch second. So hopefully it's a uh, numbered or an autographed uh, marks. But for the Senators, Danny Heatley. There you go, Ottawa. Nice little 50 and 07 auto. That one's sleeved up. Ottawa, just back-to-back -back packs here, pulling the heat. Uh, Gibson for the Ducks to 222. Uh, Brooks Orpic for the Penguins on the Canvas Auto. And uh, Gaudreau on the Letterman. Again, these look a little bit better in person than they do on camera, but yeah. Uh, it's not, unfortunately, not the, like, stitched, the fake stitched letter. But number to 35 on the Gaudreau for the Flames. Oop. Ah. Uh -huh. Missed an auto there. We got a bonus auto of Steve Finn for the Quebec Nordiques. Thought it was just the canvas card being a little bit uh, stickier, but nope, there's a bonus little auto there. Flipped it to the back and it's like, wait, why does it say Quebec? Uh, Gaudreau. But yeah, I really wish they did these. Um, like, I understand why they couldn't this year and they kind of just wanted to get the product out, but I wish they did them with the... Uh, actual like manufactured patch because they do look a lot better that way but they're not bad like they do look like kind of the golf scoreboards which is fine uh, when they're autographed it's definitely a lot better but when they're just the plain ones it's kind of leaves a little bit to be desired all right spigu time uh let's see a see a net card nope that is not a net card you can tell when you get a net card they are thick all right here we go got an islanders card on the back Ooh, we got a uh, patch in the middle let's uh save the patch for last i guess all right rookie jersey of robertson for the leafs rookie jersey of mikey anderson for the kings uh, material distinctions of Barzell for the Islanders. Uh, Kucherov, base blue to 165. I really like that design. Uh, Lorenz, rookie to 299 for the Hurricanes. And, oh, that one's nice. Supreme patches for the New Jersey Devils of Jack Hughes. Whew, that's a nice card. Number to 15. The Supreme Patches set's normally one of the like more highly collected patch sets too. Um Alright, Byram, you've had a lot of time in the spotlight. Let's uh Cousins will move you one over. We'll slide that in there. So Yeah, that, that's a nice chunk of patch. Obviously you hope for like the skate variations and stuff, but super nice card. So good one there for the devils. Although it's ironic that it's not in the last box because the serial number on the last box is uh four, six, 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 six to end it, which would have been hilarious for the devil. Just like coincidental. But hey, just tied in one box above. All right, here we go. Last box of artifacts. Artifacts have been really good. So I'm expecting a bit of a like dud box, uh, 29 and 40. 
Again, if we have a box that has two less hits than expected, um, it's because we got two extra hits in our previous two boxes, so. Now we got an orange coming out of the gate here. Uh, connect me for the Flyers to 75 on the orange. And I got a Stars Copper, I believe. Yep, patch ready for Vegas to 299. Go ahead and uh, treat those stacks up. Actually, both of those can uh, slide to the back one. There we go. Yep, so far, like really solid stuff from all the products so far. Uh, SB Gaming is the first box this week, but the Supreme Patch makes up for it. So those are really, really nice cards. Uh, we have a retired Stars Blue, or sorry, Ruby, uh, St. Louis to 399 for the Lightning. Uh, honestly, it'd be tough to look, like, not off the top of my head. Um, it's not going to be, like, the biggest value-wise, but, um, it is, it should be game used. Yeah, it is game used. So, you know, like, the big thing with that being game used is that it's likely from his rookie year. So, um, just keep that in mind. Kane for Chicago to 299 on the copper. So, like... That is the one thing to keep. I guess they could have, uh, because it came out in April. They would have had to get in like, no, nah, that's too. That's probably rookie year to be honest. So, it's like it's a cool card. Uh, year one rookie sweaters of Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. That's a solid one. Uh -oh, so let's move this uh, to there just because it's a little thicker. Forgot about that part. Looks like we're gonna get all of our hits here. Another Orum. Ooh, oh, these are nice. And that's the right team for a green too. Orem green to 25 of Sagan for the uh, for the stars. These are really nice. Obviously chipping issues as always, but like the camera doesn't do these justice. Those are really nice, especially when you get in the right light. They really pop. That's a cool card. Dallas having, has some really cool stuff this break. Obviously not like the biggest names, but hey. I like that card. That's that's honestly like one of my favorite hits from the break today. The Orem autographs are always up there for like one of my favorite cards too, which is kind of funny. All right, rookie redemption time. Who is it going to be? Wild card. 215 is Ian Mitchell for Chicago. So that is Chicago. Um, I don't have any of my notes beside me. Let's, uh, I will just make note of that later, but that is Chicago. Actually, where's a Sharpie? Chicago. There we go. Just before I forget. That way I don't have to look it back up again. And we're just using the official checklist that's been posted. So, and last pack here. So yeah, a bit of a dud of a box for artifacts, but hey, Kopitar jersey for the Kings. Ah, uh, weird experiences. That's kind of weird. Uh, how is it kicking you out just by chance? Like, is it just like, um, how so? Just because if it gets really bad, then. Like, honestly, I might look at switching over to YouTube. It keeps pausing the video. That's really weird. Because, yeah, I definitely don't have, like, stream ingestion issues. Um, okay. Oh, uh, that's really weird. Okay, so everyone's having it. Okay. Um, I might look into getting set up on YouTube for a break then, too. So it might be, it might just be by person, but, um, yeah, I will, uh, I'll look into that. I'll try to see if I can, if it's just like a Twitch thing being weird or whatnot, but yeah, it's, it's probably a Twitch issue, I would say, but you never know. And as long as no one's getting random advertisements during the breaks, like, 
obviously when you enter a stream, it, you normally get one, but as long as you're not getting one once you enter, that's all I kind, like that's the main thing I care about. So uh, 48 and 09. All right, so probably just a Twitch issue, okay. I mean, that's good at least in the sense that it's not like a major issue, but also I'm gonna bank that these two are the hits. So let's see if Trilogy has the same kind of theme as Artifacts this year. Oh, I already know that that's wrong. Uh, Norris for the uh, Senators on the renditions and Kivaranta for the Stars on the Rookie Premiers level one, 399 and Yellison for the Flames on the Rookie rendition to $7.99. God, those decoys feel weird. All right. Uh, yeah, that's that's really weird. Sorry about that. Um, that's really weird. Uh, when in, there's sometimes you can sometimes hit the gear on like the, and just say video stuttering and freezing and sometimes it can fix it. Um, that's really weird though. All right, next up, uh, Robertson, Super Stage. Uh, looks like okay condition for the stars. And Geeky to 499 for the uh, Hurricanes. So you got a couple Geekies coming your way. All right, I think we got a blue of the, uh, I forget what they're called. Uh, rookie renditions of Krebs for the Vegas Golden Knights and laugh to 499 on the rookie super stage blue. So been a pretty uh pretty good like just overall break. Obviously not a major laugh, but if you're still happy between the Kako and a couple like a numbered laugh, an insert laugh, you're not like horribly upset by it, I'd say. All right, so we should still have one hit left, but we'll see if that was just a random hit or if we'll have a, a bonus hit. So, uh, McLeod for the Oilers and Mikey Anderson to 399 on the rookie super stage, or sorry, 499. All right, this is a Jersey hit. So maybe we have a bonus coming. Uh, renditions of Lil Grim for the Leafs and uh, Super Stage Jersey to number 99, well, these are really low numbered, of Lucas Carlson for Chicago. That's actually like shockingly low numbered for just a rookie jersey card. And we got a patch, so that was a bonus hit. That's a very thick card. It might be a puck auto, to be honest. That looks like it is. Uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, Gage Quinney for the Vegas Golden Knights on the rookie super stage. And Teddy Bluger for the Penguins on the signature pucks. Is that an update? Nope, that's just uh, this year's. So nice little signature puck. Always like these cards. They're kind of cool for the Penguins. And they've been kind of quiet this break too. So I'd say a little bit on the quiet side. All right, chronology time. Who else has been quiet? I think Vancouver, no, Vancouver's been like, I think, okay. Uh, Montreal's been fairly quiet considering the mix. Minnesota, I don't think has anything yet. So that's probably gonna be an SP game use situation there. This is definitely a uh, thicker pack. So we might have something cool coming. Yeah, we got, Looks like maybe two, a time capsule. Oh no, we got a uh, Letterman and maybe an auto Letterman. Uh, no, we have a patch auto, okay. Okay. Let's go two off the back here. All right, first autograph, Felino for the Blue Jackets. Uh, I'll get that sleeved up in a second. Uh, Letterman R, uh, Corey Perry for the Ducks. Uh, Duncan Keith on the, make sure it's only the Nick Felino. yep. Nick Foligno, nothing else there. Yep. Duncan Keith, the 222 on the base. And nice to uh to 25. This, these cards are actually, they're a little bit nicer in person, but franchise finds of Mikheyev on card auto. On card rookie patch auto, 225. So I wish they didn't use like the 
Microsoft PowerPoint 3D font or like the Word 3D font, but yeah. Definitely a uh, different finish on the card because there's like the uh, little like seal there almost. I don't know how to describe it. Like, is this actually a, uh... okay. So they do have a little, um, like a little covering over the patch. So it's kind of like a museum type thing. I, I can I can see the design behind it. That's cool. I just, again, a little bit better of a font would have been nice, but that's just me being picky. Yeah, lots of, like, again, lots of patch autos. Um, fairly good, I'd say fairly solid spread of teams for, like, hits. You know, a little bit of everything from vets to rookies to, you know, last year's top rookies. So, overall, I'd say, you know, solid break. And we still have a box of Spagoo to go. All right, here we go. Uh, last box here. Good luck, everyone. Hopefully hopefully we get something sick. I'd love to see a draft day, Marks. That's what I'd love to see. Draft day, Marks, are a true rookie, and I will, this will be a really solid break from start to finish, I would say. But yeah, everything's kind of over delivered. I mean, three patches and three artifacts boxes is pretty crazy. Um, chronology has been solid, not like the best, not the worst. So, uh, the Stutes level one is nice. The Cousins level two, the McMichael level three. This feels thicker. Oh yeah, we got something thick for sure. I don't know what that is, but it's it's definitely different. So we will uh, bring that to, we'll end on that card. It's got like a little bit of an acetate finish to it. So uh, here we go. Uh, rookie sweaters to 249 of Josh Norris for the Senators. Uh, rookie jerseys. Are those like just a throwback? No, it's just a different subset. Okay. Uh, authentic rookies uh, jersey of Hagel for Chicago. Uh, for the Nashville Predators. Uh, veteran uh, all-star fabrics of Roman Yossi for the Anaheim Ducks Gibson to 265 on the base and for the Chicago Blackhawks taste 265 and whoo yeah net core there we go for the Tampa Bay Lightning to 35 Vasilevsky on the nice little net cord from the all-star game uh, I think this is a 260 point card so yeah I will uh probably have to run out and get a uh, one touch for that but I don't think yeah that's not gonna fit in there so uh, I'll probably run out and grab a one touch for that but yeah all right that's uh all there is to the break today so really good stuff overall good mix um yeah uh, I'll go through make sure no one shut out uh, if anyone is shut out you'll get like an overtime pack I think headed your way so um but yeah overall really solid like really good front row some really nice cards in the stacks so um hit a couple good young guns but anyways uh thank you all for coming out and i will see you tomorrow for some football take care